So the images I chose to mark for the project was that one. It's the last picture I took of Michaela before she passed. Um, she died on the day after Memorial Day, 2020. Um, not really that long ago, well, from when this video was made. And that's it. That's the other image I chose as a background. It's the picture of Michaela's urn and her collar, a couple of candles, and one of the backdrops I used to, uh, my dad used to take a pic the last pictures of me and Michaela together. <laughs> Someone lives there. His name's Frank. That's what the back lives there. And that's a picture I took in memory of Michaela. So that also has special meaning to me. Should I use this one? Oh, should I use this And the final image is... No? Project Merge. Okay. There's a Project Merge, and what I did was I changed Michaela to grayscale before I copied and pasted the... We have a gay other spider. layer and that layer to of course the background and change the overlay so the second layer had um, <laughs> blend setting where it's multiply and Michaela's was I said change the blend mode to um, overlay. I change the second layer to um, its opacity to 60% and change Michaela's opacity, the last layer, to um, 65%. So, I like this uh, project because it sort of has a special meaning to me, and it's kind of like um, a, just a Photoshop in memory of Michaela. And so, that's why I like it. For my three images, I chose a gym, my wallet, and my AirPods a piece of paper because I thought they would look cool blended in together. And or a charger because they were the only ones I, don't I could know find. Why I took this picture, but it has like a pocket. I could like take that out. And, like, <clears throat> this is my uh, final image. Quite horrible, but um, and you can't really see the AirPods, but you can see the wallet in the gym. And I wish it turned out better, but it did. So, uh, I took a picture of this background and one of my friends and a picture from when I went to D.C. and I made this picture right here. And this is my project. Okay, so the um, video I'm creating class is deciding not to upload, so I gotta do this on my computer, so not the best quality, but so these are the three pictures I took with my dog, Morsel logo, and me hitting, and I chose these because they're a lot different from each other, so it makes them more unique, and then to do it in Photoshop, all I did it was did but submerge it together, create like this like kind of background thing, I don't really know. And then we fit we like made the opacity, I think that's what it's called, to whatever is their liking. And then this is my edited photo. I don't think you can see it, but you see my dog, me, and then the Morsel logo. So that's it. So this is the merch three project. In Photoshop, we were asked to open three different images, preferably one background picture, one subject picture, and one texture picture. So for my background, I chose this picture of the football field at one of the football games last fall. And for my subject picture, I chose this picture of two of my friends after they won sectionals. And for my texture picture, I chose this picture that I took of the basketball court with the little Mooresville slash Indiana sign on it. And I chose these pictures because I wanted to do mine Mooresville themed and I love football season. So in actual Photoshop, I began with the background layer on bottom and then I copy and pasted the texture image onto the background image and sized it up to where both pictures fit each other. 
And then I did the same thing with the subject picture. I copy and pasted it onto the other two pictures and sized it up perfectly. So after that, I had three layers, but I also created a fourth layer on bottom and changed its fill color to white. So after this, I took the top layer, which was the subject picture, and turned its visibility off. Um, and that left the texture picture on top to be seen. So then I took this middle layer and clicked its drop down menu and changed it to multiply. And then I changed its opacity to 60%. After this, I went back to the subject picture and turned its visibility layer on and also clicked its drop down menu and changed it to overlay. So after this, all three pictures were um, merged and this is what it came out to be. I think it looks really good. It looks super cool. I'm excited with how it turned out and yeah. We were asked to create a merge project where we select three pictures to combine them into one picture. My first picture, which was my background, was a picture of the Smoky Mountains in Tennessee. My second picture is a water wall from Houston, Texas. And my third picture is a picture of Alex and Zion National Park. Once we selected our pictures, we put them into Photoshop and we had to layer them on top of each other. So first we layered this one as the background and we kept it as normal. With the second picture, we had to turn the visibility back on and then we made it a multiply 60%. And then with the last picture, we made it an overlay 100%. And that's how we got our end result which is right here. Um, it was suggested that the three images we chose were a person, object, and landscape, but since I couldn't find an image of an object in the recents, I chose to do two person images instead. In Photoshop, we laid the three images on top of each other and then edited them until they looked how we desired. Um, and then for my next project, I would definitely choose different people images so that they weren't so zoomed in and maybe even try to find an image of an object so like it all flows better together. These are the three images I chose for my Photoshop project and that's the finished image. Um, I chose these three because I thought that these two would make a good background and this one would make a good foreground. Um, in Photoshop, I layered them and then adjusted the visibility to make them merge together like this. I like the picture of the cat, but I wish that I would have made the background look different because you can still kind of see like the fridge and things. So, yeah. These are my first three images that I started with. This was my bottom layer, this was my middle layer, and this was my top layer. And this is my final layer. In Photoshop, I just went and made the visibility able to see them all like this. So this is my first photo for my merge project. I used an Ouija board because I like spirits and whatnot, and they're cool. <laughs> um, I used this second photo of my cousin playing basketball because we're super close, and it's a really good photo. And I used this photo of the ball going in the hoop because he made the ba basket while playing basketball. And this is my final photo. I'm actually really happy with it. Uh, the, uh, the, <laughs> the, it was really easy to do, and Mr. I think Malone. that the blending was the most you difficult. Like uh, so the pictures I used for the merge project are uh, this Xbox controller. It's a clay pot and this uh, hedgehog uh, cardboard thing. So I used the controller because, uh, it's, you know, my hobby, uh, it's my favorite thing to do. I used uh, the clay pot. I don't know really why. I just kind of liked how the picture looked. And I did this hedgehog because, uh, I liked how the like the lines on the seat looked and I wanted them to be in like 
the background of the image to give it a cool look, really. I don't know why I like this picture. It's just, it looks better than some of my other pictures I have. And here's the final image. You can uh, see the lines off of the chair, the, the controller, and the pot are the most apparent. But the pot I made, I think, 95 opacity or 90 or something like that. And the, uh, the controller, I think I made it like 60. And I made the hedgehog pretty pretty low so all you could see was really the lines so it uh, really was just the lines that you could see it, it that's a pretty cool effect so I use these three pictures of Ethan for my project one because I haven't used them before in Photoshop and two because I thought it'd be nice here's the final image right here so what I did was I took all three of these pictures, those two up there and that one, and just merged them all together to make one picture. So yeah. For my project I chose this photo, this photo, and this photo. And I had this photo as the background, and then I added this photo on top of the background photo, and I added this on top of the midground photo. I chose this one for the texture and this one for the subject. And then I selected this photo, I, and then I went to the Blending Options tab right above the layers, and I selected Multiply and set the opacity to 60%. And then I selected this photo, and then I, I selected Overlay in the Blending Options, and then it came out as this. And I, I like the end product. I do think that the subject could have been shown more clearly or something like that. But otherwise, I enjoyed this project. Okay, so here's my first photo that we had to take a photo of. And then for my second one, I did an orange picture that we had to do in class. For my third one, I did my dog. And um, in Photoshop, what we had to do was take the first background picture and then put these two on it and then change the um, the showing of it, like the, I forget what it's called. But um, we had to make it so that they blended into the picture and then the outcome was this. And uh, I feel pretty proud with my final product. I would probably change the orange to something else if I had to do anything. But yeah, this is my final product. I chose to use these pictures for my choir teacher, Mr. Dameron. Um, I use this picture because it's sheet music and he's a choir teacher. This is his son, and this picture was taken in his backyard. In this project, I copy and pasted two of the pictures into the background of one picture, and I changed the opacity so that they would blend. Um, this is a little darker than I would have liked, but I still think that it looks really cool, and I've never done anything like this, so it's cool. This is my bird project. I picked these three pictures, because these three pictures are what I did with the other project. This is the final project. This is my first image. It's a picture of my cat, Arthur. This is a second image. It's a picture of my cat, Pearl. This is the third image. It's a picture of my cat, Olive. And then this is the final picture. And all I did in Photoshop was put them in different layers and then trans make the layers transparent onto a white background and put them all together. Um, I chose all these images because uh, I thought they would go good together because it's a kind of like a collage of all my different cats, and I thought that would be cool. It was just for like six years. Oh my gosh, Samantha. In Photoshop, we had to copy and paste three images on top of each other and change some layers. We had to add a white layer, 
and we had to change the opacity of the three photos to 60%, but then afterwards we could change it to whatever we preferred to make our image look better. I think that this project was really fun and gave us a better idea of how to use Photoshop. This is my background image. I chose this because it looks cool and I was on vacation. I chose this because it's the landscape and then I chose this picture because I like basketball. At the end, I copy and pasted this onto this and then this on top of this and merge them all at the end to make this. And I just think it looks really cool because it has like two different vacation backgrounds and my favorite thing in the middle. This was my first picture for the merge project. My second one. And then the third one for the background. I chose these first two because they, they were cute with a dog. And then it would look beautiful with the background. And I like the final because you can still see the dog and the background goes well, blending it well together. This is the merge project. I chose this picture of me at the homecoming, a charger with a back as a door, and a Christmas tree. This is my final product. I chose these pictures because of the bright colors in that picture and that picture, and the texture in the background of the door. I uh, simply just changed the opacity of all the different pictures and put them together on top of each other. And I think it turned out great. So your chicken patties are done. I just got wait on tape though. Okay. You want some? Who's talking on the phone? No, he's talking to Danny. This is my background. I picked it because I thought it looked cool, and it's one of the few landscapes that I have. Um, this was my second layer. I picked it because I thought it would look cool merged with the background. This is my third picture. I picked it because it was already a JPEG, so I didn't have to put it into paint or anything and do that, but, you know, and it's a cat, so... And that's the final thing. This is my background picture. I chose this because I really like this picture of my friend and I think it really describes her personality. This is one of the pictures I put on top of the background. I really like the colors in this one and I thought that they would look good with the background picture. This is the other picture that I chose to go on top of the background. 
I chose this one because I thought that the flower shape would be a good outline. To create this in Photoshop, I had to copy and paste these two pictures on top of the background, then change their opacity levels so they would blend in. This is the final edited image. I like how it turned out, although when I put the other two pictures on top of the background, it kind of made it look dark or underexposed. Okay, these are my original images. And I used these because I thought that they would complement each other well, especially this one that ended up really good. I like it the most. Alright, for the Merge 3 project, I chose this image, this image, and this image, because there are things around the school and the colors match very well together, and I figured they would overlay very well, and this ended up being the final product. You can see kind of the scoreboard there in the background. The sign pointing to all the different areas of the high school, and then of course the bleachers with the logo on the side. And in order to make this picture in Photoshop, involves putting a blank layer down, putting the scoreboard above the blank layer, and then using the sign and the scoreboard, I multiplied the scoreboard and put that at an opacity of 60 and then overlaid the sign and it ended up matching the opacity so you're able to see through all of it and it all just kind of matches up real nicely.